Welcome inside the Kennedy Center at Yale Bowl, getting set for the press conference to announce Tony Reno as the 34th head coach of Yale football, former Bulldog assistant under coach Jack Sidlecki, and they're getting set to introduce him to the assembled crowd here. A lot of press here, Ron Vicaro, class of 2004, to be your narrator for this press conference. Then after the press conference, stay tuned. We're going to have interviews with Coach Reno. We'll have a one-on-one -on -one interview with him. We'll talk with Yale Athletic Director Tom Beckett. We'll talk with the captain of the Bulldogs, Will McHale, the outstanding linebacker, and we'll talk with a few other guests who are here as we provide you full coverage of the introductory press conference of Tony Reno. A lot of smiles as you walk in the building today. People very happy that he's been chosen as the coach. Of course, he was here uh, for six years in his first stint as an assistant when he was a secondary coach. He's a 37-year-old Oxford, Massachusetts native, and we're awaiting Steve Kahn, the director of sports publicity at Yale, to reach the podium to begin the proceedings. And Steve is making his way now to the podium, and once he does, we'll pick that up. But again, we're here inside the Kenny Center at the Bowl, and now we turn it over to Steve Kahn, the director of sports publicity and associate athletic director at Yale University. Testing. If I could have your attention, please. We're going to get ready to get started here. Hi, my name is Steve Kahn. I'm the sports publicity director here at Yale University. And I want to thank you all for coming out today for this very special introduction. Just to let you know what we're doing today, we are streaming live on YaleBulldogs.com for free for everybody to see. And what you'll hear today is you'll hear from our athletic director, our new coach. We'll have questions. And please, uh, we'll pass the mics around so that you can identify yourself before the questions are asked from the working media. Uh, we'll also do some quick business with our streaming interview right after with our coach and our athletic director, so please be patient. And we all know that you want to do some one-on-one -on -one time for the working media with our new coach and our athletic director. Please uh, note there is food down on the second floor and drink, so at any point you want to grab something, please feel free to do so. It'll be available afterwards as well. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce our athletic director, Tom Beckett. Thank you. I would like to welcome all of you to the Kenny Center, the champion's room of this magnificent facility. This is a very special day. As you all know, we're here to welcome Tony back into the Yale family. And before we do that, I would like to give to his wife, Tony. I can't get that wrong. If I know my head coach's name, I'm going to know his wife's name. But Tony, we would like to give the flowers to you and to Angelina. Welcome. Angelina. And to Dante and Vince, a bag of goodies. I want to thank lots of people, and I'll try and do this quickly. And I want to start with the student athletes of Yale University who play this great game of football. They are at the core of everything we do and every decision we make. And for the young men here representing 105 strong, I thank you for your commitment to Yale, your commitment to Yale football, and to this process. You have been spectacular, each and every one of you. I know there has been doubt, there have been questions. You've been nervous, you've been unsure, but your belief in your university has never wavered, and I can't thank you enough. I also would like to thank the members of our advisory committees, we had two. We had a campus committee, and some of those folks are here. And if you would just wave, I promise that we would keep your identity anonymous. But I just pulled that promise. <laughs> I, need, I need to thank you publicly. So our captain, Will McHale.
Associate Athletic Director, our liaison with admissions and financial aid, Fritz Rodriguez. Our head lacrosse coach, Andy Shea, is unable to be here. Two members of our department who I have to give a special thanks. The logistics of this search, all of the issues associated with this, I can't even begin to tell you the number of hours that have gone into this, but Associate Athletic Director Natalie Gonzalez, and our right-hand man in this process who has been tireless, and it's been a labor of love, but Tim Ford has been everywhere and done everything. So Senior Associate Athletic Director Tim Ford. Tim, where are you? Tim's here. Our second advisory committee made up of men of Yale football, and we do have I believe one here today. Oh my goodness, I forgot the chair of our campus committee. Nice job, AD. Master, assistant to the president of Yale, faculty athletic advisor, representative to the NCAA, member of countless committees and council to all of our coaches and many, many of our student athletes and to our director of athletics, a great council, our great friend, Penny Lawrence. <laughs> our alumni committee advisory group, men of Yale football, Jack Ford, Chris Gaughan, Greg Hall, Hank Higdon, John Reese, and the chair of that group, our team surgeon, Dr. Pat Rui. Pat. <laughs> and our special advisor, who loves this place more than all of us combined. He is not here with us today as he has taken his sojourn to Florida where he winters for three months, but I have talked to him countless times since he's left and I have been with him countless numbers of hours. Our Hall of Fame coach, Carm Koza. We were looking for a dynamic leader we were looking for a great communicator and teacher. We were looking for a leader of young men, an inspirational leader of young men, someone who understands this university, the academic rigor associated with this, but also the passion for high athletic achievement in the sport of football. We were looking for someone who understands what it takes to win. And we have found that individual. Yale University and Yale Athletics takes great pride in offering first-time leadership opportunities to highly skilled and accomplished professionals. Tony Reno has demonstrated all of those qualities and more. We are here today to introduce this man to you, and he is coming back to the Yale family. Tony has recruited the nation and done so very well. For Yale and Jack Sedlicki, and Jack brought Tony into college football. And Tony helped Jack and the staff of Yale football win the Ivy Championship in 2006. And Tony Reno helped Tim Murphy and our arch rivals at Harvard this year 
win an Ivy championship. Tony Reno is a teacher, a leader of young men, and a winner. And he loves Yale, and he loves the men of Yale football. It is my honor and privilege to introduce the Joel E. Smilo, head coach of football at Yale University, Tony Reno. I want to take this opportunity to thank President Levin, uh, Mr. Beckett, Penny Lawrence. Penny, I don't have all the titles here, but I definitely want to thank Penny Lawrence. Uh, the, Yale, the Yale community, uh, the Yale alumni, uh, everyone that was involved in this selection process and everyone that's involved in our campus for giving me this opportunity. I understand the honor and the tradition of Yale football. I understand everything that makes Yale great. And I embrace it and we want to build upon that tradition we want to build upon that winning attitude and that success under myself. The other people I'd like to thank in this process, my parents, who was great to be here today, um, my lovely wife, Tony, and my, my three kids, Dante, Angelina, and Vince, who've, uh, who've supported their dad and everything he's done and supported their dad in coaching. And uh, it means so much to have a family like that behind you. And, uh, and I really take great, great pleasure in, in having them. And uh, it's a great honor that, to have them here tonight. Mentors. I've had some great mentors along the way. And, um, you know, starting with my high school coach, John Del Dorian, and my college coach, Brian Cullen, who I actually worked for. Um, moving on here to Coach Sedlecki, uh, Coach Murphy, uh, Carm Coza, Larry Ciotti, guys that along the way have helped mold me. I've taken little things from each person, little things that have helped mold my attitude and, and who's made me into the coach I'm going to be today. And things that are going to help us make us successful at Yale things that are going to help us become a championship level football program. And I'm excited for this opportunity. I can't tell you that how much honor it is to be here in front of you, but also the most important thing for me is I'm looking forward to getting this thing started and um, getting this program going um, starting today. Leadership wise, I am the right man for this job. And I firmly believe that. I understand the challenges of Yale. I understand the challenges of coaching in the Ivy League. I understand what makes Yale great from on the field to off the field. It's all I have to do is look around this room, and you can just take it in on what makes Yale and Yale football great. The stadium that's right behind me with 57,000 seats that's full every other year, that puts 25 to 30,000 people in it to watch the many Yale play football. The campus community, the fact of the student athlete, the building relationships of student athletes, the building relationships with people on campus, everything that makes an Ivy League football player who he truly is. I embrace it. And as a leader of this program, we're going to build upon that, and we're going to make it great. I'm going to hire great staff. I'm going to hire great staff of people who are leaders, people who are great people and great football coaches, people who embrace everything that makes Yale Yale, embrace everything of teaching the student athlete, the complete picture. We are going to build a tough, physical, hard-nosed football team that understands how to embrace adversity and doesn't let anything, whatever conditions, whatever challenges we have, embrace it, go after it, and persevere through it. Our staff is going to be built of people who are teachers, people teachers of our young men on the field and off the field, whether it's a problem in a class or it's a problem at home, whether it's something that they can work with on the field with them or something they can work the field off the field with them. These are things that our staff is going to be able to do, embrace, embrace upon those challenges and persevere through. I understand what makes Yale great in the community. We're going to work well with admissions and financial aid, all the people in all the offices with the administrative offices of Yale. This is going to be an inclusive effort. This isn't just the Yale football program. It isn't just the Yale staff. This is everybody. This is all of us together in this. This is the whole Yale community is going to build this football program and build this football program to a championship level. We're going to be active in the community. Our players, myself, our coaches, active in everything we're doing in the community to build this championship level football program. Recruiting. We're going to be active in recruiting. We're going to recruit the nation's best players. We're going to go out there. We're going to pound the pavement. and We're going to get great players to Yale. We understand what we need to bring here. We understand the players that we need to sit aside, you guys in the back, 
players that we need to build a championship level program. We're going to go find the best players in the country that fit into what makes Yale and embrace everything that makes Yale so unique. We're going to bring them here and we're going to become successful with them. We're going to build on the alumni network and one of the most important things in, in the process with myself in the last week here on the interview was just how much people care about Yale. And it means so much to be a part of this and it means so much to be a leader of a program that it matters so much. It matters so much to our alums. It matters so much to the people on campus. It matters so much to the people in New Haven to be a successful program on and off the field. We're going to embrace our alumni. We're going to embrace them in the community. We're going to embrace them in the recruiting trail. And we're going to draw upon those incredible resources to help mentor our players in developing them into leaders on the field and off the field. I understand the rivalries of this league. You know, I understand it really well, it being on both sides of one of the most important rivalries in the history of college football. I understand the rivalries of playing the Dartmouths and the Princetons and the, and the Pens and the Cornells of the world, how many years that Yale has been playing in those games. Our team is going to be ready to go mentally, physically, and emotionally for each one of those football games. And we are going to build a football program that prepares our guys for those games. It's a, with great pleasure I stand here. I can't tell you how honored I am to be in front of you and also how much respect I have for this program and this university. And I really can't wait to get started. Thank you. We're going to take some questions now from the media. We'll pass you the microphone. Just raise your hand and please identify yourself before you ask the question. Coach Pat Edenrub from the Associated Press. Can you talk about what you learned from your time uh, with Coach Murray at Harvard and what it is that you're going to bring from that to beat Harvard here? <laughs> Coach Murphy is um, one of the most prepared professional coaches I've worked with, and I've worked for some great ones. And um, what, what uh, Coach Murphy does with his program is he prepares them to be great players on and off the field. He prepares them in the classroom. He has a great job on the recruiting trail. All those things are, are pieces of the puzzle at Harvard that has been so successful. And those are pieces that I'm going to bring here to help make Yale so successful. Hi, Coach. Uh, Jim and he, uh, football writer for the Yale Daily News. Uh, considering how the, the head coach job has been vacant since uh, late December, are you concerned at all with uh, recruiting for the next season? We're going to, we actually started already today. I mean, it's, uh, recruiting is the most important part of any program. And if you're going to be a successful program on whatever level it is, you have to be great in recruiting. So the most important thing for us is identifying the great players and going after them in the recruiting trail. Uh, am I concerned? No, I'm not concerned. There's a lot of work to be done. And um, we're ready to go. We started today, and we're going to work forward until we get a great class uh, for Yale and for Yale football. Uh, hello, I'm Charles Condor from the Yale Daily News. And I was wondering, who, if anyone, are you planning on bringing with you for the coaching staff? We're going um, to bring on a great, a great deal of... Uh, college coaches that have an unbelievable amount of experience on and off the field of developing young men who are masters of their task and masters of their positions, and whether it's offense, defense, or special teams. Um, due to confidentiality right now, you really can't name names, um, but we'll, uh, we'll bring a great staff together here of guys who are great leaders, and they're going to be great parts of this football family. Tony over here, first off to your right. Rich Coppola from Fox Television in Hartford. First off, congratulations. Thank you. Um, you have uh, uh, a guy that I'm sure means a lot to you uh, in Jack to your left. And it's never easy to replace a legend as he did. And I thought he did a terrific job in doing that. How important is it? And how much do you appreciate Jack being here today? And what will you take from your time with him? It, uh, it means the world to me to have coach here today. I mean, it's um, when you work for people that you have that much respect for professionally and in, in their family life and every way that he carried himself is, uh, is something that I really drew from and, and really respected when I was here. And um, I think one of the things that I grew on with Coach Sidlecki is uh, 
worked on working under him in a professional role as my boss and now developing a friendship with him in the last uh, three years and it's been something that's meant a lot to me. Um, what I've learned from him is, is Coach Shedlecki uh, had an unbelievable ability to deal with, with the Yale community and um, he did it right. He did it in a first class way. Um, he knew how to deal with every office of Yale. You know, he was the guy who was out at the soccer games on a Tuesday afternoon and knew how to talk with everyone on the campus and um, those are things I draw from. Built a championship level program and um, it's our hope to build that championship level program as well. Coach, no offense with the uh, Channel 8 here, the ABC affiliate. Uh, considering the intensity of the rivalry, specifically between Yale and Harvard, how does one go from Yale to Harvard back to Yale? It's a short ride. Uh, in the, uh, <laughs> um, the, uh, the incredible opportunity to come back here. I mean, this is, uh, my experience at Harvard was great. Um, I can't say enough about what Tim Murphy did and, and the opportunities he gave me. And, um, and for that, I, I'm very appreciative. But in the same sense, the uh, opportunity that uh, Mr. Beckett and Penny Lawrence and President Levin and the Yale community has given me here, this is, it's, it's different. Um, this is a place that, you know, my wife and my, my kids call home. And um, to say it was easy for my, my, my children to put away the, the Yale blue pictures and the Yale helmets, my, my oldest still has, you know, still had Yale pictures in the, in the room when I was working at Harvard for three years. So that part of it was part of our fabric. And, um, and to come back here now as the head football coach, it means everything. This is, when I was here and, and I was able to work um, under Coach Lecky, it the feel of Yale is different. The feel, this, this room is different. The, the way that people are on campus is different. It's different, I'm not saying it's different than Harvard, and it, that's a great place, but it's different than anywhere I feel in America because it means so much here. And people bleed blue and white here. And, and that is what drew me back to this place. And the ability to lead this program that means so much to people is, is you, you won't get anywhere else. Tony, Sean Barker from the New Haven Register. Congratulations. Thanks, Sean. Um, you've been a guy that's been in the middle of everything all the way through. You're a hard worker. You've been a recruiting coordinator, positions coach, etc. Everything changes now being the head guy. Are you going to counsel with Jack and Tim and others about those challenges of, of learning to delegate more and not taking everything on yourself? Sure. I have a... I feel I've got a great deal of, of people in my career and in here right now, actually, you can just take the guys in this front row here, um, from, from Tom Beckett to Larry Ciotti to Jack Sidlecki and, and to Karim Koza, guys that have so much experience, guys that have seen, there isn't much those guys haven't seen. And to be able to have them as mentors and counsels is, uh, is everything to me. And, and definitely going to draw upon those guys because as the head football coach, you've got to be able to balance a lot of different things. And, um, and as the head football coach, you're going to be able to, to be able to ask for, ask for help and be able to get counsel from people, and, and those are all things that we'll do. Coach, in the, in the last week or so, there have been several names bandied about for this job. How confident are you that you are the guy that Yale really wanted for this job? I'm 100% the right fit for this job. There's not a question in my mind I'm the right man for Yale football. And I thought that when I was here last week on the recruiting, on the, uh, on the interview, and I th thought it two weeks before that, and I know it today, and I'll know it a year from now. I'm the right guy for this job. There's not another person that understands this place. There's not another other person that can recruit this place and can produce the football program we're going we're gonna to produce here. Thank you all for joining us. Thank you. Thank you.
and we're joined now by the 34th head coach of Yale football, the Joel Smilo, coach of Yale football, Tony Reno, and coach, welcome back. I know that's a sentiment that a lot of people have here, and certainly it's great to have you as the head coach. What are your thoughts today? It's uh, it's great to be back. The uh, the opportunity to uphold the honor, the tradition, the pride of Yale football, and to to be the leader of this program means the world to me. And I can't express how honored I am to be that guy and um, how proud I am and what a great product we're going to put on the field. Get a lot of emails, a lot of chains from a lot of Yale alums, and if there was a straw vote taken, you were the clear winner over these past few weeks in terms of popular sentiment. How much does that mean to you to know how many of the guys who knew you from when you were here the first time were absolutely to the wall supporting you? It, it means the world to me. I mean, there's as a, as a coach that um, develops young men, when they have support for you like that, it means anything, everything to you. you know, it means more than any win uh, on the field or any championship to have those guys feel that way about you. And, 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 the, and the thing is, I feel the same way about them. These past few days, as things have been going on, and you came back to the Yale campus to interview and then to accept the position, were there any thoughts about the campus that, you know, memories that stood out coming back to Yale as a Yale guy again? Oh, absolutely. You walk in, uh, you walk in this room and you look at the Yale Bowl and you... You know, you, you think of all the great te the teams we had and all the great games, and you walk around campus and you just get that feel, the feel of the pride and tradition of, of, of Yale football. Everybody's been asking about recruiting and when will it begin, and, but I understand it already began. Yeah, it began, uh, it began uh, today at 1 o'clock. So we, uh, we started recruiting, um, make sure that we've got a recruiting weekend this weekend, make sure it's all set up, um, one for next weekend, and get on the road as soon as we can on Sunday night. If you could describe you know, the program you think you're going to build here and want to build here, what words and characteristics would you use? Tough, physical, hard-nosed program that can deal with adversity on any level. Thanks, Coach. We welcome you gladly aboard, and we'll let you go do the rest of the media responsibilities. And we'll catch up with you on YaleBulldogs.com soon enough for a more extensive interview. Thanks. Thanks, Ron. That's Tony Reno, the Joel Smilo head coach of Yale football. And as we continue here live inside the Kenny Center, uh, we'll hope to have a few more guests come by. And... Uh, kind of get a sense of some of the atmosphere and the scene here inside the Kennedy Center. We'll expect him to be joined by Yale Athletic Director Tom Beckett and, uh, and uh, Will McHale, the captain of Yale football. And uh, we'll hope to get them soon. But you heard some of the highlights of the press conference. It was a, a few you know, questions as to who would show up and whatnot. But we saw about 25 or so members of the current Yale football team. And uh, it was really great to see that earlier. And uh, there are a lot of them are lingering here, getting to see Coach Reno. Jackson Lecky came. He's currently an assistant coach at Wesleyan, but he's here today to support Coach Reno. As you just get a sense of the packed atmosphere, the very festive atmosphere here in the Champions Room at the Kenny Center at Yale Bowl, a beautiful um, setting. During game days, this place is often packed with alums cheering on the Bulldogs, and now they have a new man at the helm. It's Tony Reno, who's been living in Sturbridge, Massachusetts. We have a feeling when the dust settles, he'll probably come move closer to Connecticut. As we're in search of a few guests here, we're, we're hoping to be joined by Athletic Director Tom Beckett and Will McHale. So again, we're at the press conference where Tony Reno has been announced as the head coach of Yale football. Good. 
and we're now set to be joined by the captain of Yale football, linebacker Will McHale. And Will, first, congratulations on being the captain after the uh, season, the banquet announced that. But how excited are you today? It seems everyone is uh, kind of anxious on the team, but in a good way. Yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely thrilled. I couldn't be more excited. Um, Coach Reno is, is the perfect guy for this job, and I think that we, we all firmly believe that. He's, a, as Mr. Beckett said, he's a dynamic leader. Um, he's a great motivator. He knows the ins and outs of this place. He loves this place. And, uh, and he's a winner. Above all, he's a winner. So I, I couldn't be more excited. Well, Tom Beckett did tell the world that you were on the search committee, so I'm not breaking a secret there anymore. But what were your impressions of him through that process? You know, he really, he really blew people away when he came in. He has, a, he has a clear direction. He has a clear plan. He knows what it takes to be successful in this league, and he knows what it takes to, to lead young men. Well, talking about the guys coming back on your team, it's another new head coach, but it sounds like the people I've talked to on the team, there's still a genuine sense of excitement, and no one's no one's really down. It's a new opportunity. Sure, it absolutely is a new opportunity. We, uh, you know, we lost. We're losing a, a lot of great seniors, a lot of great leaders, and a lot of great players. But, but I think we have we have some guys coming back, and you know, we're looking forward to the challenge. We're looking forward to the uh, the opportunity to get better and, and improve ourselves, and hopefully win some football games. And that work's already been going on. You might have been without a head coach for a while, but your strength and conditioning coach is still here. And Emil was one of the first people I saw, Emil Johnson, the strength and conditioning coach. I know you guys have been after in the weight room since basically the week after Thanksgiving. Yeah, we have been. Um, yeah, it's been, a, it's been a tough week with that. But, you know, it's good. It's good for us. And, and you know, we need to... When you, when you don't have a head coach, it's important to make sure that everyone's still going in the same direction. And I think Coach Johnson's done an excellent job of making sure that everyone's still focused on improving, focused on getting better every day. And, Will, we're sitting, and you've got hard to ignore the backdrop. The, the Yale Bowl filled the capacity for a Yale-Harvard game. How special is it to play in front of a huge crowd, which you just did, you know, got to do in November, and, and see as a college athlete at Yale that many people come to see you play? You know, it's great. The, uh, the Harvard-Yale game is obviously one of the, you know, the, the greatest rivalries in college sports and to, and to play something that has that much tradition and that much pageantry is really it's something special. All right, well, thanks, Will. We'll let you go talk to some other folks, and we appreciate your time, and congrats on finding a new head coach. Great. Thank you so much, Ron. That's linebacker Will McHale, the captain of the Bulldogs.
Once again, Ron Vaccaro coming to you from inside the Kennedy Center. Thank you for staying with us. We have had complete coverage of the press conference today, introducing Tony Reno as the new head coach of Yale football, the 34th in Yale history. We're hoping to get another interview or two as guests continue to mill around the room. And when we do, we'll come back. For now, we'll keep uh, enjoying the, the wide shot pictures. You get a sense of the feel as if you were here in the room live. And uh, we'll hopefully be back on with a guest. If not, then a closing thought in a moment or two. And now, once again, back inside the Champions Room of the Kennedy Center, joined by the Athletic Director at Yale, Tom Beckett. And uh, first of all, Mr. Beckett, what a great setting in this room with the field as a backdrop, introducing Tony Reno as the head coach, a, a shining day in Yale football. Ron, without a question, we're here at the venerable Yale Bowl and we have this spectacular state-of-the-art facility called the Kenny Center and we're in the champions room and we're talking about Yale football and it's a real thrill to be able to talk to our recruits about this Yale Bowl that they've read so much about their families have heard so much about and then you add this particular piece to it that highlights the history of this great sport, of this world-class institution. And they come here and get a feel for the traditions. Walter Camp is on the wall. Coach Coase's Hall of Fame certificate is on the wall. Our All-Americans academic and athletic are on the walls and our championship banners are hanging from the ceiling. It's a great story, and it's captured in the champion's room of the Kenny Center, and we're very proud. And there's a picture a few pages down of the 2006 Ivy League Championship celebration up at Harvard, and if it was taken from a different angle, I'm sure it would have had Tony Reno in the picture as he made his way to the field for that celebration when he was an assistant coach, and now he comes to Yale as the head coach looking to make you in search of more wall space. Without a doubt, and... Quite frankly, Ron, Tony has demonstrated his ability to help build championship teams. He did it here with Jack Sedlicki in 2006, as you've mentioned, and he helped Tim Murphy and the men of Harvard football win a championship this year. He has an incredible way about him. He understands building relationships. He understands what it is that young men, very bright young men, what they're looking for in this combination of academic excellence and athletic high achievement. We know he's the right man for this job. I said to Coach Reno a few moments ago, seeing the past few weeks, the, that if there was a populist candidate, he was it amongst the football players who played for him in his first stint at Yale. And, you know, it's one thing to be friends with your players. It's another thing to get them to achieve at a high level. And in that first stint as an assistant coach here, he clearly did both. Well, he built some lifelong relationships. And you're absolutely right. And we heard from all of those men. And they were very proud to be able to come to us 
and say, please take a very hard look at this extraordinary man. And then Tony came into the interview process and did the same thing with the committees that he met with, with me, and today with President Levin, that he has done with the men of Yale football in creating that lasting, meaningful relationship. And that's what we're looking forward to as he continues his quest to take this program to the heights that we all know it can achieve and we also know he's our leader and will let us do that. I think no one could say it any better than that and uh, we thank you for taking some time to talk to us on YaleBulldogs.com today. Thanks Ron. Appreciate very much the opportunity to be here with you. Thank you. That's Yale Athletic Director Tom Beckett and we thank you all for tuning in on YaleBulldogs.com and stay tuned to this website YaleBulldogs.com and Yale Access for all kinds of football and other content in the coming months. For now, thanks for joining us as Tony Reno is named the Joel Smilo head coach of Yale football.